Well, hello again. All right. Today I'm going to show you what to do after your scenery cover is dry. Unfortunately, I still got some wet spots, even though it's been a week. Huh. Well, add a drop or two of dish soap to regular tap water. And even though you can see it bubbles on the brush, it's all right. It helps break the surface tension of not only the water, but the paint. The paint we're using today is Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. But you can pick any color that you think looks right for the dirt in your area. And just take, put a good squirt down. Use a wet brush. Don't try drying off the brush. Just get the bubbles off real quick. And that'll help the paint flow. Um, won't be too much longer. You'll have a surface that actually looks like dirt. And that's what you want. You just want to look like dirt in this first coat. Alright. Once it looks like dirt, you can let it dry. Or you can go ahead and put whatever you put on, on top of the dirt. I'll let it dry because I've tried that trying to use the paint as glue and it just doesn't hold anything but there's an extra trick that I'm going to show you so just stay tuned and as soon as I can find it I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to go get the air compressor and fire it up all right here I am back again somebody asked last week or the week before on I am MRO's live chat, which I love to tune in on that and figure out what everybody really wants to see. Um, they asked, how do you mix craft paint for an airbrush? Well, this is the paint I use, which is Apple Barrel Nutmeg Brown. All right. Um, that's for my ground cover. Drop a dish soap. You know, Ajax is just as good as anybody else. Uh, and what you do is you put in your drop of dish soap in your mix jar add one third of what you think you're going to need of the nutmeg brown and two thirds water or whichever apple barrel craft paint you decide to use all right and that's as simple as it gets let me get everything out of the way now unfortunately with craft paint because it is so thick you have to run at a higher psi than you would normally run i've got my air compressor charged and my regulator sitting at 35 pounds of air unfortunately this leaks a little bit so you're gonna hear a hiss all right my brand new airbrush i just bought this the pache model h starter kit i got it at um the hobby lobby it came with the bit to make it compatible with an air compressor my air compressor is off right now and i'm losing air so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i mean by this real quick I've already got most of the track masked. I've left a piece open. Just use regular half inch masking tape. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna mask it because I'm kind of uh, running out of options on air. But let's see if I get you turned a little bit. There we go. I'd say it looks pretty good for craft paint. What would you say? But literally, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit light. Because you can come back later. Put on another coat. And match it to what you already got down. And I've already done a test spray. So my airbrush is running a little low on paint. But that's literally it. And it turns out perfect just about every time uh the dish soap is added to break down the pigments so that way you get more paint flow 
because if not, it will jam up the airbrush. Now, I'm going to return in a minute. Well, no, I'll just do it all in the same video. Let me unhook the airline. All right. Now, let's see here. Can you see all the way over here? Yeah, here's my ugly face. I'm this far away from the camera, so I don't break it. There you go, Eric Hall. You got your picture of my face. Happy Easter, everybody. But on a curve, I use six to eight inch pieces of masking tape just so that um, I don't have to bend the masking tape. Because masking tape doesn't flex easy. It's meant for doing straight lines. So when you got to put a curve down, use small strips and just go over it. And that's how easy it is to mask your track so you don't get no paint on the track. When you're done, peel it up and use a little bit of Zippo lighter fluid or Rosinol lighter fluid to get the gum off the track. You just put it on a simple paper towel, just a few drops, wipe it down. Stuff's $3 a bottle. You know, it's pretty cheap and it lasts a while. Uh, but that's how you uh, use craft paint and airbrush. It's very simple and it works out really well. However, you do have to use a higher PSI because it's a thicker pigment. That's the reason why it's mixed so much. But literally two thirds water to one third paint with a drop of dish soap added to thin out the paint a little bit better. Well, I think that's going to be it for the video for today. If you have anything you'd like to see me do, let me know. Next week, we're going to be putting down ground foam to show you how to do that. All right. See you in a little bit. Hey, everybody. I'm not a continuous source of ideas. If you can think of anything that you want to see me do, even to try out something I've never tried before, please feel free, let me know, and I'll see what I can do about getting the materials to do it. Um, not kidding. I don't have all the money in the world, and I don't have all the ideas in the world. I just think of how to do things cheap so that way I can afford them, and we'll just get it done. Sound good to you guys? Give me a comment. Let me know what you want to see.